Cześć, tutaj Tomek Kopyra z blogu blogkopyra.com Ze mną, jak widzicie, Wojtek Frączyk i e, Murillo Enrique Marecki Foltran. E, słuchajcie, to jest e, Polak z Brazylii, e, piwowar browaru Dum. Uh, I've just introduced you uh, that you are from you are a Polish guy living yeah, in I Brazil. Got, I got it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, is próbujemy piwa z browaru uh, Dum Cerveżera. Cerveżaria. Cerveżaria. Uh, to jest uh, Imperial Stout, Russian Imperial Stout. Petroleum, bardzo dobra nazwa. Petrole. What, what, how you pronounce it? Petroleum. Petroleum. Yeah. In Latin. In Latin. E, czyli ropa naftowa, no. E, Petrobas. Tak wygląda. E, tak wygląda... E, o, panie sędzio. Tak wygląda ten. 96 no, kibu. E, ok, where you brewed this beer? In which brewery? In Gaudin Beer, it's, it's in Curitiba. Curitiba, yeah. The South uh, America, the capital, the Polish capital in the South America. Yes. Curitiba to jest taki e, 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 z Ameri po południowoamerykański Chicago. Tam jest bardzo duża społeczność polska, bardzo dużo Polaków. Niestety, e, niestety Murillo nie mówi po polsku, no ale jakoś sobie damy radę. Czy Wojtku masz otwieracz? Tak. Ja ma A nie, poczekaj, bo to jest Twisto. This is Twisto. Yes? Okay. E, w Brazylii po prostu wszystkie są twist offy. A dla Murillo? E, małe, przepraszamy za usterki. What is the... Uh, how many degrees Plato? 28, I think. 28? I respect it. Yeah, it's very hard to do that. E, bardzo taki czekoladowy. No, spróbujmy. Na zdrowie. Ha, how, you, how you say na zdrowie in uh, Brazilia? Brazil? Saúde. Saúde. E, salud? Saúde. No, e, salud is in Spanish, in Portuguese is saúde. 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 I like it. It's very bitter. 96 IBU. 96 IBU. Naprawdę. No to, to powinno być w risie. Powinna być duża goryczka, duża czekoladowość, duża paloność. I to wszystko jest. Uh, there is lots of uh, uh, ro uh, roasted barley on it. And uh -huh. uh, roasted, uh, roasted malt as well. But no acidity. Yeah. From this roasted yeah, milk. of course, and then uh, the twelve percent of alcohol is well hidden there. Mm -hmm. you, you can feel very, it. Very good. And uh, there are in the maturation, we put the cocoa powder on it as well. Ah, okay. So it. So it, 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 makes, it makes everything gets together, and it's quite strong, and the people in Brazil love it. Yeah, it's people very good. always taking part with it's me. very, very good. Uh, Age. It's very yeah. balanced, no no sharpness, no uh, you know unpleasant roastiness or, or something like that. No alcohol. Everything is very. Uh, um, how old is this beer? I don't know. Let me see. It probably is new because uh, uh, it's still 19. So we got three uh, with uh, three, years. three years. So, so it's from, it's, uh, from uh, uh, June this year. Yeah. But how long you keep it in brewery? Uh, two months. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's a month. It's a month uh, uh, fermenting and another month maturing. So uh, really, uh, you have my uh, uh, respect that in such a uh, short short time you have so uh, well balanced beer. Yeah, we we uh, have luck or. I don't know how to say it, but to, to make this recipe. As I said to you, uh, the people in Brazil are always taking photos with me like they take with you here, right? <laughs> uh, Murillo powiedział, że tak jak, tak jak tutaj ze mną robią sobie zdjęcia, to z nim tak sobie robią w Brazylii, ale mówi, że to piwo 
e, ma trzy miesiące, a w browarze spędziło dwa miesiące. So probably it was bottled uh, June, it was brewed April. Yeah. It's really, uh, I'm really shocked because it's very well uh, matured, very, very, you know, well balanced, no sharpness, no alcohol, no nothing uh, like this, but it's only four months beer. Yeah, and, and if you, the best beer that uh, I, I had, I have some, well, the first batch that I made at home, which is have five years now, mm -hmm. and it's kind of liquor, that completely different beer. If you age it, uh, how uh, long you uh, wait, it gets better and yeah. better and better. And we have some beers with very aged with cachaça. Because the barrels are with cachaça and then we put the beer on it and then and make uh, some different kinds uh, of uh, barrel aged. And we do it with vanilla, with chiclote, which is a pepper and loads of different types as well. And could you tell me uh, how is uh, a beer market or beer uh, craft beer scene in, in Brazil? How many breweries you have? How, how it looks like? Uh, uh, nowadays we have 397. Uh, this is the last number of the Minister of Agriculture. So almost 400. Almost 400. And these breweries has something like uh, four uh, 5,000 and 500 products registered. Mm -hmm. So there's a bunch of beers and every week is another beer is appearing or another new beer is. But in this number are breweries like yours? No, Gypsy? just crafty no, beers. Jo jo just crafty beers. Gypsies or... Boy, because beers. your brewery is a gypsy brewery. Yeah, of course. My, my and and it's not in this number. <laughs> no, it... It, it, uh, it is. It, 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 no. Actually, in the, the name of in the, the number of breweries is not in the number because mm -hmm. for the ministry we have to make it to have the, the, the whole thing to, to facilitate. Be, yeah, the facility. But in the name of in the, the numbers no, of the, the, the labels, mm -hmm. it's it's uh, we call the, the gypsy beer. Okay. Uh, so what is the uh, trends are in Brazil to? Brew IPAs, imperial stouts, or maybe adding fruits or, or something. Yeah, we, we have loads of IPAs because the people who are getting the craft beer market love IPAs, right? Love the openness. But we are doing lots of things with Brazilian ingredients what, as well. What, yeah, what is typical for Brazil? For yeah, Brazilian we, craft beer scene. Uh, we are still uh, creating it, but we are doing with fruits, with Coffee. food coffee, uh, some different things that we have in Brazil. So this is already starting yet, but we are doing lots of research with universities to make bags with different types of this and see, and, and it's crazy. So, uh, before I come to Poland, I uh, went to a, a tasting for a, a girl that is uh, finishing his final project to the graduation and he got, uh, she got 10 different uh, EC strings from, uh, let's, we, we don't know, it. she just got it and from fluids and things like that. And it's amazing how different this, uh, this the same, same work, the same work ca yeah. ca came. Uh, some are uh, there, uh, seems like saisons, some there's uh, like ale, some like lager, so it's a very promising thing that we, uh, I believe that we will create a Eastern strain, some Eastern strain from new, Brazil. New Eastern yeah, strains from Brazil. Yeah, in a, in a cool. in, in few years, I think. Okay. Uh, you are in Poland for Polish hops, yes? Yes. Uh, Pavel Piłat from Polish hops invited me to come here and to because we don't have hops, any hops in Brazil. Mm -hmm. So I come here it's to too warm. Yeah, yeah, it's warm and uh, the the amount of sun that we get in the in the, in the daylight is not the, the good one. We have 12 hours, 14 hours when, but for one or two weeks. Yeah. So we don't, don't we can't grow hops there. Of course, there are universities studying it, trying to acclimate the plants to Brazil, mm -hmm. but we don't have it. It will take 20 years to make something like that. Mm -hmm. But then uh, I met Pavel some years ago in the Brazilian Beer Festival, and he invited me. Actually, there are more Brazilians to, 
to his uh, event next week and his farm in his farm and we are there. I'm here to drink beers with Polish hops and work in a Polish farm as well so next week I will be there and what's your impression I, about Polish craft beer I, I was I, I'm amazed because there are loads of uh, small craft beers doing very good beers and I'm really surprised and Pavel told me that and I, I, I'm very glad that the beer revolution arrived here and has uh, uh, it's very strong and the public uh, you see old people young people everyone drinking beers different beers trying to taste different beers so it's it's like in Brazil it's uh, I think it's a very promising thing and I'm very proud of it who knows one day can I brew some beers here in Poland as well and make a petroleum pot go to everyone here in Poland drink it. Uh, what about Polish beer styles in Brazil? Grodziska or Baltic Porter? They, we, we, we have some, some brewers that produce Baltic Porter. Uh, I did at home as well. But we have a, a very good one from a, a guy who has a Polish uh, mother, which is uh, Vinsky beer. Uh, he, he will be here next week. And there are five brewers doing Grudzisk uh, style there as well, with the, the, the smoked wet mouth. And the people love it. And uh, as far as uh, the judges uh, I know, the, the, the beers are very good. People, uh, one, the next, last year was a Polish judge uh, in a Brazilian contest. And he judged the Grudzisk beer and he said it's very good. Uh, it seems like to be in Poland the beer. We are very proud of it. Oh. So, uh, hope to try petroleum or other your beers in Brazil, maybe. Yeah, of course, yeah. In, in, in I wait years. for you. Yeah, I, I would like to visit Brazil. Uh, I, I really admire your beer. I really respect it. It's so young and it tastes if uh, it will be so old. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that, that's why the people love to take pictures with me in Brazil. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and I I hope you choose good Polish hops, Junga Sibilla or yeah, that that, that, or, that that's and, what we are looking for. Make some Polish IPA in uh, yeah yeah in, we'll do in that. Brazil. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that for sure because the the work that Pavel is doing and uh, trying to get some old varieties that was lost and I, I, I really support this kind of thing because we are small and we have to support a uh, small producer of the, the good things. Cheers! Na zdrowie! Na zdrowie! Saúde! Saúde!